Hey folks, let's look at the last uncovered feature of Strangerville. Aside from the Strangerville mystery, the only major gameplay addition to the pack is the military career. This career, along with the base game stylist and gardening from Seasons, features the ability to work from home and still get the benefits of being in a career. For money making and other goals, this is a big deal. First, let's look at the early levels, which are dominated by fitness actions. You'll need to jog and spar your way to career promotions. You may also need to do some marching, another fitness builder. Sparring is an activity exclusive to the military. None of these are particularly hard, you've just got to do them for a few hours. When it comes to sparring, it can mean quite a lot of sim clicking in order to queue up the interactions. Thankfully, the townies are your puppets and can't seem to turn down a sparring session. This new action builds relationship while also providing some fitness skill gains. A faster method to complete this is to use the new training bot from buy mode. The career branch is at level 6, so you should start to think about which of the two branches you'd like to take and begin getting a few levels in the required skill. There is a covert ops branch which relies on logic and has you spying on the neighborhood via the new listening device object. The other option is officer. There you'll need charisma and a lot of ordering sims around and recruiting others to the military. A quick tip is ordering around is much faster on the new training bot machine you get as opposed to ordering sims. The machine is pretty funny as while you're fighting it or yelling in its face it's clearly telling your sim they're pawn scum. The thing with this career choice is both options make the same pay. You'll work nights more as a covert operator and daytime as an officer. Both work exactly 8 hours. So the choice should be fairly easy for you. If any of my viewers are in the military or know someone who is, they may find it kind of funny where this oh. career ranks in terms of pay, right at the very top. From a pure hourly wage standpoint, you can't do better than joining the military. It's taking the path to millions and only careers like Interstellar, Smuggler, and Botanist can even begin to compete with it in terms of pay. Throw in the ability to work from home and it's decidedly OP. There's a huge benefit in being able to do the work from home task and move on to something else. I think that the reason this career makes such huge cash is because fitness and logic are not massive money makers. So you're not sinking much time into a lucrative skill like writing, painting, or gardening. You'll notice the developers have largely balanced the career's money around the skills associated with them. If you're mastering a big money maker skill, you're going to make less per hour and also very likely work fewer hours. The two branches of military have light rewards. Officer gets a flagpole and a beefier looking version of the training bot. Covert Ops gets a very nice looking CIA rug, and both of them unlock some uniforms for Cass. Both branches also get medals. These can be placed in a unique display case object that you can find in the family inventory. Simply drag them from your sims inventory and they'll automatically go into the correct spot. This can have a pretty big environment boost on the room where you placed it. Now, I want to throw out a warning here, that there are some components to this career that feel sloppy or rushed. The thing is, you're told to practice ordering around. Well, that is better done on the military training bot object found under fitness. Most players would gravitate toward actually ordering sims, but you're better off with the bot as it's much faster. Being in the military and it being so important to the new career, you probably should get this training bot free or in a promotion. Similarly, I got a listening device only after I already bought one because a task came up to plant a bug on Sims. Just be aware of these objects and that you may be better off buying your own versus doing repetitive tasks to live without them. The biggest problem really is the daily tasks hands down because they're not very well explained. Writing reports done at the computer requires you to queue up about five of them to finish the task. Perhaps the best example of this is the plan 10 moves ahead task for covert ops. It doesn't tell you what that means and the, the hover tool tip which would normally say what you should do is missing. So you may stumble around a good bit before you realize that the career is asking you to just play chess for a few hours. All in all, it's not a bad career, but it is pretty much a rabbit hole career. Being able to work from home doesn't add a lot of unique to activity. It does take the crown now as the highest paying career in The Sims 4. And I'll link to the table I've maintained in the description. It's on our main careers gateway under the list if you'd like to find it manually. The choice you make in this career is probably going to be based around which uniform you like, so I'm also linking to the military career page on the site where you can see the officer branch. If that's a non-factor for you, then go off the hours and your preference for logic and charisma. 
All in all, I enjoyed testing this career and the Strangerville pack, but I do kind of look forward to messing around with base game stuff that I've never covered in video format. There's still a lot to be done. Thank you all for watching and have an excellent weekend.